Hello, I am Dr. Sanjay Ingle, Consultant Pathologist and Zonal Technical Head for Apollo Health and Lifestyle Limited, West Zone. Today, I'll be talking about interpretation of lipid profile. Lipid profile, as we all know, is a very simple test which is performed to know the status of lipid metabolism and lipid status or a fat status of the body. It has three components, total five components of which three are measured and two are calculated. So the measured components are total cholesterol, triglycerides, HDL cholesterol and the measured component is uh, LDL cholesterol and LDL cholesterol HDL ratio. Now let's talk about cholesterol first. Cholesterol is a waxy fat like substance made in the liver from the fats and the oils we eat. It is important for the production of certain hormones uh, and bile for metabolism of fats. It is also av available or a part of the cell membrane of the cells which are there present in the body. But for all these functions, a very minute amount of cholesterol is required. Any excess cholesterol which is made by the liver is stored as fat and when too much of it is present, it may lead to some heart diseases and formation of plaques or increase in the uh, thickness of the blood vessels causing shortening of the blood vessels. Cholesterol travels through the blood attached to special proteins called lipoproteins. They are classified as high density and low density and very low density lipoproteins. Whenever a high cholesterol is there, a doctor would also require to get your lipoproteins done in order to see whether the high density lipoproteins, low density or very low density lipoproteins are increased or decreased and give treatment accordingly. LDL cholesterol is a, a low density lipoprotein is also called as a bad cholesterol. When too much of LDL cholesterol circulates in the blood, it can slowly build up in the walls of the arteries causing formation of plaques which reduce the diameter of the arteries causing blood to flow slow and leading to ischemia or a heart attack which is very common due to the formation of plaques in the coronary arteries. So this for people who need to improve their lipid levels, LDL cholesterol is the one sh which should be decreased so that the doctor can actually would want you to decrease your LDL cholesterol so as to know the progress of your uh, cholesterol levels. HDL cholesterol or high density lipoprotein is often known as a good cholesterol because high levels of HDL help to protect against heart diseases. It is known that HDL cholesterol carries the total cholesterol away from the blood into the liver where it is metabolized and excreted. If at all, where it is also thought that excess cholesterol is removed from uh, the plaques causing the plaques to shrink in size and help in the help the body for optimizing the blood flow in the arteries so for uh, it is you know for remembering purpose ldl cholesterol is al also known as bad cholesterol should be lowered hdl cholesterol is a good cholesterol which should always be high but it is very easy to lower your ldl cholesterol than to increase your hdl cholesterol so have a word with your doctor and let uh, to know the, your progress and how to decrease the LDL cholesterol whether through exercise or medication and how to increase the HDL cholesterol specifically due by what uh, looking at what you eat, what type of fats we eat in, in our uh, diet, daily diet which can help increase the HDL cholesterol. Triglycerides is one of another uh, major portion which we ingest as in our fats. Triglyceride is the uh, transport uh, form of cholesterol in the blood. So any excess in triglyceride will cause the plaques to increase in size. Triglycerides uh, are also increased when a sample is given when the patient is not fasting. The reason is that whenever we have something to eat, the, uh, the transport form of triglyceride increases immediately which causes a false high of triglycerides in the blood test. So it is always advisable whenever one goes for a lipid profile test 
one should be at at least 10 to 12 hours of fasting so that the basal levels of triglycerides are seen. The fasting will not have much effect on total cholesterol, HDL cholesterol and LDL cholesterol. Thank you so much.